Hi guys, hope you're well. Welcome to my channel, Hipset. Today's video is a chit chat get with you with me. So basically, I was getting ready to film for you guys, and I thought let me film this video too. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Anyway, just haven't really spoken to you in a while, so I thought this is a perfect opportunity. I have my tea, so and it's the green tea with lemon. I kind of wish I put a little bit of sugar in it, like brown sugar, just to give it a little bit more flavour. But oh well, let's see, try it out. Um, I've already put lip balm on, but I've been drinking tea, so yeah, I've already put some lip balm on. I just used the Rituals Peppermint Lip Balm, which I love the smell of. It's just really nice and minty, so I do kind of feel the mentholiness on my lips as well. Um, I already moisturised my face as well. I used this one, yeah, the Olay Day Cream, which is just the complete one. See, so yeah, I've been using this because it has SPF. I think it has SPF. It has, I think it has SPF, but I don't know, it doesn't say on the bottle. It's just the sensitive version so you have i think two versions there's normal and there's sensitive so yeah i got the sensitive version i like it so far um i finished my funny enough i finished my night cream of this so i'm just using the natural white my sister had this she didn't like it so she gave it to me to use um yeah so what shall we start off with we'll start off with concealer so i'm just going in with my favorite rimmel london match perfection concealer and i'm just going to conceal i don't really wear foundation that much so I think it just doesn't, every foundation I have tried, it doesn't sit very well on my skin, so I just, I feel like it doesn't really suit me. So I'm just going to go in with the usual places, I'm also going to use this to conceal my, on my eyes as well, so it isn't like a base. So yeah, just around the nose, on the mouth, on the chin, here a little bit, and I'm just going to go on my eyes as well. I really like the fact you can use this just with your fingers and just blend it out. But it gives you also time to blend out as well, it doesn't like a start. So how, guys, how have you guys been? I haven't really heard from you that much. Um, I guess because I haven't been in, really doing a video like this. I hope you guys are having a really nice Easter though. Because I know it's the Easter holidays or if they finished. What have you guys been up to? Let me know in the comments below. I've been just working, so hence not really doing much in the way of vacationing. Kind of do need one though. So yeah, and then I'll just use any other concealer, just anywhere else where I want to conceal. So I have just some darkness here. I'm gonna put a little bit more on my eyes as well. Not bright and really, because I have dark circles. Yeah, okay, now I'm just going to set that so it doesn't crease and I'm just going to use my favourite, I love this brush for just setting concealer, especially under the eyes and kind of in like in small areas. So it's just my small tapered brush from e.l.f. and I'm using <laughs> Perfect Finishing Powder from e.l.f. as well, which I think I kind of broke the lid though, because it's not sitting as well, so unfortunately I dropped it one too many times. So yeah, just using this. I like this powder because it's light. And holds my concealer in place as well. I feel like it's really similar to the Makeup Forever one that I have. But I feel like this is just slightly more, just ever so slightly fine, more finely milled. So yeah, I feel like they're similar. I don't know if they're a dupe, but I don't know. We shall see. I feel like most powders are pretty much the same. Anyway, so she went in the translucent powders. Or at least the ones that I've tried. So yeah, concealed, powdered, and now I'm just going to go in with the eyes and I'm just kind of doing something simple. It's kind of one of my favourite looks. So I'm going to go in with the number 7 Stay Perfect eyeshadow. It's just a single eyeshadow. It looks like this and it's in number Truffle. So yeah, number 65 I think. Yeah, 65 Stay Perfect. So yeah, that's what it looks like. It's really, really, really pretty. I'm just going to use my finger for this and put this all over my lid. And then I'm going to go in with my Paisley Cosmetics bronzer in 2M and that's going to go in the crease. So let me get a crease brush. Here we go. It's a little bit bigger than I would use in the crease, but yeah, this is also from e.l.f. 
top off the excess. Just to kind of help define a little bit, but nothing too intense. I kind of want to do a little bit more of a brighter eyeshadow on the lid, so I may change it. Yep, and then I'm just going to take a, I think this is like a smudger brush also from my, I'm going to just take the same color on the lower lash line. Okay, so yeah, I'm just going to grab, actually let's use this. I was going to use this also for highlighter, so I'm just going to take my Physician's Formula, I think it's just natural nude highlighter brick. I'm just going to take, what do you guys think? I think this one is just calling my name, so like, I don't know, can you guys see yeah, that one? It's just a little bit more golden-y. Oh yeah, that's better. Just a little bit more brighter. I really like the fact that this you can use this for your face, for your eyes, for your cheeks. So it's just everything, like as highlighter as well, and eyeliner. It's a really good kind of multi-purpose product. I mean, that's what it says. Because if you kind of see at the back, it kind of shows you how you can use the product if you haven't got it already. So glad I got it. Just dropping stuff. It does have a little brush, but I just don't use it. Yeah, I really like it. It's just a nice soft kind of feel to it as well so it blends really nicely into the skin so I would definitely recommend this if you haven't already tried it. It is a little bit on the pricey side but it's so worth it. Probably thinking why am I using my finger? I just feel like it applies a lot better. You can kind of control. So yeah. Just trying to get it right in the corner and then I'm just going to take whatever's left on that blending brush and just blend it out so that Nice and seamless. Okay, I still really love this color. It's just wanting something a little bit more brightening on the eyes as well. And um, now for the face. Let me see, let me see what it is my blush girl. Kind of doing a, I guess, kind of like a monochromatic look or something with similar tones, like bronzy brownie clothes. So I'm using my Paisley Cosmetics blush, which has, I think, Ar yeah, with Argan Oil. So this is number 48. It's one of my favorite brushes. It's kind of like a brownie, but it still has that pink to it. So, I really like this brush from e.l.f. Cosmetics, the blush brush, but I feel like it's kind of lost a little bit of its shape. Just a little bit, because, I don't know, I really still like it, so I'm just using it, because my other blush brush that I have is way too big, so, because it's not seeming to pick up the product as how it used to. I still really like it though, hence I'm using it. So I'm just going to put that on my cheek. It's a really nice soft brush though. I definitely recommend checking out some of like Elf's brushes because they're really good and inexpensive. And then I'm just going to do highlight and then I'll finish off the eyes. I'm just going to basically put mascara on. So I'm going to just take again the, uh, the what's called, <laughs> Physician's Formula and just take my the same tape and brush. Just kind of clean it off on the tissue and then just use it. I need something slightly smaller. Notice this is a little bit too big. And I just take the top six. I just want a little bit of a lighter thing. Tap off the excess. Oh, I love you. I feel like it blends effortlessly. Let's just put it on the tops of my cheekbones. Oh, I forgot to contour my nose as well. This one kind of looks a bit wide today, so I'm just taking the same bronzer. And on the little smudges, I feel like it's really good to contour with. the smudger brush because I feel like it's just smaller just to help blend. Let's go back in with the highlight. Yeah so that's the face done. I'm just gonna go in with I'm gonna try this mascara today. So I'm gonna use the Too Faced Better Than Love mascara. I love the packaging and that felt open. So it's just a black mascara. Okay I like the wand it's quite big. I have no idea why I smell that, it smells weird. <laughs> so yeah, just take a little bit on I think so this is the first time I'm trying this mascara. Just kind of without curling my lashes, just to kind of see how it, what it does. It's not bad. 
Oh, I like it. I thought it would give me spidery lashes for some reason. That's what I had read, but it's actually not that bad. It's okay. So I'm just going to do the other eye quickly. Yeah, I like it. It gives me quite a bit of volume. I'm just going to separate these two. Let's clump together a little bit. Okay, cool. So that's not bad. I think it has given me a teeny tiny bit of spidery, but not too much. So yeah, like this mascara so far. Um, now as the lips are left, so I am just going to grab. Oops, not drop my mirror. Just gonna grab. I'm trying to think, this one, this one. I think I'll go for this one. So I haven't really worn the Huda Beauty in Flirt, so I have a mini, little mini version of it. So just clean off the lip balm I had. I feel like it's nice and thin. So I have a slightly like uneven lip at the bottom. It's not like straight. It's kind of like whoop. So I just follow the line. Well, it's kind of a little bit darker on camera, but yeah, I like this. Shape. So that's it, guys. I hope you have enjoyed this video. I know I didn't really talk that much, but maybe next time. Fingers crossed. Let me know your thoughts on this mascara because this is the first time I've tried it. Have you tried this mascara? Did you like it? Let me know because i am pleasantly surprised. I thought I wouldn't like it because I had read, I read some reviews online that it was kind of like a spidery lash but no, pretty much I really do like it. I just have to curl my lashes beforehand though. I didn't do it this time because I wanted to see if it does give me any colour or anything but no, not really. Just maybe a teeny tiny bit but not a lot. So yeah, so still looking forward to trying that out a little bit more this is like the second or third time i've tried this lip and i love it every time i wear it this is flirt from huda beauty i really like these mini sizes because we never go through a whole tube so yeah definitely definitely looking forward to using that some more as well so as always i'll put my little social medias down below in the description box for you guys so if you like please do follow me on that just so you're kept to know when i do upload and yeah let me know if you have any other recommendations or products to try or videos you would like me to do so yeah let me know in the comments below i love hearing from you guys so thank you again so much for watching i hope you have enjoyed this video and i will see you soon bye